Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs Golding again. It's time for phonics and we'll move on to see what things you need for today. Again, you just need a pencil and a paper. Use the back of the Tuesday piece of paper if you need to. And send me any photographs of the lovely work you've been doing or any questions you've got to my email address which I've put on the video for you. Okay, let's have a little bit of a warm up of our phonics brains. Have a look at all of these sounds, see if you can say all of the sounds. And if you think you know all of the sounds, how quickly can you say them? And can you say them in a different order? Can you say them backwards or forwards? Pause the video here, have a go at all of those sounds, and then press play for the next activity. Okay, welcome back. Here is our sound for today. Do you know what this sound is? Well done, it is the ow sound, the ow sound. So just like yesterday, I want you to have a think. How many words do you know with the ow sound in them? You're going to write them down. Remember, you've only got 30 seconds. Are you ready? Steady. Go. Write down as many ow words as you can. Okay, halfway there. If you can't write them down, you can tell the person sitting next to you. And that's time up. Okay, have a look at your words, have a look at my words. Have you managed to get all of the words I've got or have I got some that you haven't got? Or probably more likely, you've got some of the ones that I haven't got. We've got thousand, trout, ouch, south, pound, pouch, like the little kangaroo at the bottom there, shout. Okay, have a look at yours. See how many you managed to do. See if you've managed to beat me and get a few that I haven't got. Okay, moving on to the next job. We're going to read some real words and some alien words. Remember, those words with the little monsters or the aliens on, those are the words that are not real words, but we can still use our phonics to read them. The ones that don't have a picture next to them, they are real words. Each word, see if you can spot where the owl sound is, and then see if you can work out the phonics around it to read the word. So sound it out and blend it. Pause the video here so that you can have a really good look at reading those and then press play when you're ready for the next activity. Okay, we've got our four boxes, which means you are going to be doing some writing of your own words. The first word that I'm going to ask you to write is out. Out. If you need a little bit of extra time, you can press the pause button, write the word out and then press play. The next word is the word pouch, pouch, pouch. Next word is the word pound, 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 pound. Be careful with this one, it's got four sounds in it. Pound. If you need a bit more time, just press pause, then you can press play when you're ready for the last word. And the last word is count. 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 When you're ready, you can press play again and check whether you were right. Have a look at those words. Did you manage to put the ow sound in, remembering it was an O and a U to make that digraph ow? Did you manage to get the first sound right each time? If you didn't, don't worry, have a little look at them. Write them out yourself so that you can get used to writing them and seeing them. If you did get them right, give them a nice big tick. And if you've got that owl sound right all the way through, fantastic. That's our sound for today. 
Okay, this is where we have got our sentence. Okay, so the sentence we are going to write is a question. Now, if we're writing a question, it needs something at the beginning. Yeah, it needs a capital letter at the beginning. But if it's a question, it needs something at the end. Would it need a full stop? Or would it need a question mark? Because it's a question. Yeah, you're right, it needs a question mark. So a capital letter at the beginning, a question mark at the end, and then you'll need your finger spaces. So the question is, can you count out the pounds? Can you count out the pounds? Have a go at doing that sentence. If you need to pause the video so you've got a little bit more time, that's fine. Then press play when you're ready. The sentence is, can you count out the pounds? So have a look. Have you managed to get that sentence correct? Have you got all the words that you needed? Have you made sure you've got your finger spaces? Have you managed to put your capital letter at the beginning? Have you managed to put your question mark at the end? If you've managed all of those things, fantastic. See if you can write another question with some of those our words in, or maybe a sentence with some of those our words in. If you've got a couple of bits that you need to work on, maybe you can practice writing those now. Remember the word you and the are tricky words. Those are words we can't sound out, but we need to know how to spell them. If you haven't got that quite right, have a little practice of them now. Maybe you can find one of those tricky word songs that we sing in school to help you. Fantastic job today, guys. You've done a fabulous job with your phonics. We've managed to do A and OWL this week. And hopefully you'll be ready for phonics again tomorrow when we'll do our next sound. Keep working hard and bye for now.